20 seconds. We don't want to be blamed for starting a fire, do we? No. We had enough of that in 1666. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to an NK Customs figure review and basically we'll be doing reviews of new figures that have been released within the last few weeks and this is the latest figure that I've purchased, well not purchased, I actually won it in a competition on Whovians Unite so big thanks to Scary Wood who um, hosted the competition um, I submitted an entry and it won and I've received it today and I'm going to review it for you. Um, and here is the fourth Doctor from the Pyramids of Mars. And we'll have a look at the packaging and it is just basically the same as the old fourth Doctor's packaging apart from it says Pyramids of Mars along the bottom here. Um, and at the top there it says includes time control panel and sonic screwdriver. The time control panel is here which was featured in the episode. On the back, there is a picture from Pyramids of Mars and a little bit of a blurby bit about the story. Um, so that's basically the packaging done. And I'll get on to the figure. And here is the figure out of the packaging. I'll start off with the articulation, which is um, the top half here in the arm. Um, at the elbow, at the hand, so he can spin things around. Um, he has knee articulation, so he can bend his knee. He has articulation at the top of the leg, so it can swivel. And he also has it up around the belly area, or the hips, but I have not done turned that yet as it's new and it's very difficult. Um, yeah, the head also turns slightly and that's about it on the articulation of oh, apart from the yeah, go there obviously. Um, I will now take a look at the detail on this figure and first off I will note that the scarf is a little bit different pattern. I do have the older Tom Baker to compare it to. It is slightly different. Um, I don't know whether it's more accurate or not because I don't study the scarf on the actual episodes. But um, another thing is the hats. The hats are slightly different colour. The new Pyramids of Mars ones are slight grey greeny colour. Um, um, also, he ha he's wearing a longer coat compared to the shorter version, and it's a really dark browny colour. Um, the shoes are slightly brown now. Um, the skin tone is slightly different as well. I'll give you a close up on some of the detail. Um, the jacket underneath is a checkered square sort of pattern going on. He's wearing an orange kind of tie thing. Um, the detail on his face is really really good. Um, yeah I'll give you a look at the the accessory which is the time control from the actual episode Pyramids of Mars. Um, the buttons and circuits are really nicely um, printed or sculpted onto the accessory. It's a grey colour and there's some greens, oranges and blues going on on there. It comes with two handles so your Tom Baker can hold it, which is very nice, like so. Not very tightly holding it, but really nice. Um, Tom Baker also comes with his sonic screwdriver. Don't know if you can see that very well. Don't know if it will focus on it or not, but... But you can kind of see what's going on there. Anyway, 
I don't know that it looks kind of different to the um, one that came with the original. Um, it looks a bit more red on the top there, but um, comment below if you think it's different because I can't really tell at the minute because I don't have the other one with me. But um, there's the review for the Pyramid of Mars Tom Baker. Overall, I'm very happy with it. It's a nice variation of the original here. Bit disappointed it didn't come with an alternate head for £15 for the people who pay that, whereas I won it. Um, it's a little bit bad, really. Um, yes, yeah, so overall, I'll give this figure a 9 out of 10. One away from the big 10 because of the fact it doesn't come with the extra head, but other than that, it's really good. Um, again, a thanks to Scary Wood for sending this to me as a um, prize to the competition. And I'll say again, the forum is called Whovians Unite. It's great, come along, I'm there, and I'll leave the link in the sidebar. Um, so there we go, NK Customs review, the first one, and the next review will be of the customised Weevil, or the repainted Weevil, and then after that it will be the classic Wave 2 that's coming out in January. So, hope you've enjoyed, and take care.